everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the mac os ventura 13.5 beta 1 my name is jay and you are watching tech hype let's get right into this video without wasting any more time so apple has released the beta 1 of mac os ventura 13.5 and the reason i didn't post the video on the same day was because i was trying to look for anything new that came with this beta but i swear i tried my best i was not able to find anything new in this update i tried my best that doesn't mean i don't have anything to talk about about this update on my macbook it is an m1 macbook air talking about what device i'm using so we have some things to talk about number one thing the most important thing that is battery life is the battery life anything better on this update well first of all m1 macbooks are just incredible and in general apple silicon macbooks are crazy efficient we all know and especially the m1 macs are just amazing you know if you own an m1 mac and i swear you are not that lucky if you happen to own an intel one because efficiency is something you don't know what it is <laughs> Jokes aside, talking about battery life, the battery life seems to be quite good. Like I'm talking about uh, the battery life as a beta standpoint. Of course, if you are coming from a public version to this version, you will have noticeably less battery life, which means screen on time will be about 30 minutes less on this update. But considering it's a beta and I have been on beta cycles and beta updates of MacBook for quite a few months now, I have noticed a pattern that betas tend to deplete and they just don't give you enough screen time compared to the normal versions. But this is a beta one of 13.5 and I'm having pretty great battery life for a beta one. Talking about the issues that I have faced on this beta, which should be resolved on the next beta. Number one thing is the screen time bug yes screen time widget bug is still here and it is so irritating it has been here since the ventura 13.0 version i guess since the mac os 13 came since then i am having this bug where the screen time is just bugged and i have to just turn off the settings and turn on the settings in order to see the correct screen time of my macbook also the macbook screen time is just not syncing properly with my iphone this is a bug that i want apple to fix in the next beta of 13.5 and i have talked to some of you guys over on my twitter at the rate tech hype if you want to talk to me i am most active there i keep on talking to you guys about this and mac os watch os ios about these updates and all so you can just feel free to dm me and talk to me about this and the performance the performance seems to be pretty snappy on this beta the animations are a bit slicker and uh, i feel like the animations along with the iphones if you know uh, if you have watched my previous videos of ios updates which i posted a while back so you know that after installing this update there was a snappiness in animations and even zolotech talked about the animations being a bit faster on the new new ios 16.6 beta 1 i feel that the animations are faster on the mac os 13.5 beta 1 as well there is nothing new to talk about but i still managed to talk about some things that i noticed in this update the bugs that i talked about the screen time bug and the performance i talked about i talked about the battery life as well i talked to some of you guys on twitter about the beta one of was 13.5 but you guys were also not able to find anything new along with me so that pretty much it for this quick little episode if you did watch this video till the end consider hitting that subscribe button because i am about to reach 10k subscribers and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can hit that subscribe button peace out and have a great day everyone Oh,